The Cisco Embedded Wireless Controller on Catalyst Access Points, or EWCAP, provides a cost-effective and simple solution that allows you to use a mobile application to deploy, manage, and monitor your network. The solution uses the simple graphical interface of the Cisco Catalyst Wi-Fi mobile app to provision a new network and also to manage and monitor an existing network over a local or remote connection. You can download the Cisco Catalyst Wi-Fi app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Plug the embedded wireless controller into your network. Notice that the Cisco Air Provision Wi-Fi network is automatically broadcast. The Cisco Catalyst Wi-Fi mobile app provides you with two ways of setting up your Wi-Fi network. In the first method, you should manually connect to the provisioning SSID. After doing this, return to the mobile application to continue with the provisioning process. An easier method is to scan the QR code. Enter the default username, which is WebUI, and the default password, which is Cisco, to continue the provisioning process. The main task here is to create an administrative account with a strong username and password. This will be used for all your future administrative operations. You will notice that your country is selected by default, although you can choose a different one depending on the regulatory domain of your controller. If your DHCP server has allocated an IP address to your controller, you can see the details here. But, if you do not have a DHCP or prefer to use a static IP address for your controller, you can configure it here. For a seamless end user experience, make sure that you get your DHCP server up and running and configured on your network. The next step is to create at least one WLAN and give it a network name. You can choose to configure this as an employee network. If you do so, select either the personal or enterprise security profile and add a passphrase that your clients can use to join the network. An enterprise security profile allows you to configure a RADIUS server for authentication. You can also choose to have a guest network with a consent-based security policy. Note that you can configure up to four networks. After you've configured all your networks, click Deploy. At this point, you have the option to make changes, if any, by clicking Review. If you want to proceed without making changes, click Deploy. Within a few moments, your network configuration is complete. After this is done, you can choose a site name to collectively refer to the networks you've just configured. Enable the Remember toggle button so that this information is available later on the mobile application. You will notice that your embedded wireless controller does not need a reboot process to deploy the networks. The Cisco Catalyst Wi-Fi mobile app allows you to connect to and monitor your site, both over a local and a remote connection. If you have enabled the Remember Toggle button, you will find that the site is already listed under Manage Networks. You can stop monitoring the site from the dashboard. But wait, what does one do about a fresh mobile application that does not include details of your site? You have two options depending on your connectivity. If you are within the range of a corresponding network, you can connect to it by using the network SSID. But if you are in a remote location, you can use the app to add the controller IP address and then log in. Once connected, you can monitor the various details including the managed access points, network summary, top clients, and running applications. You can see that the mobile application can remember multiple controllers for you, although at a given time, you can manage only one controller. As mentioned earlier, after you log in to a specific controller, you can manage many aspects of that network. From Manage Networks, you can add, delete, and modify networks. From Manage Access Points, you can restart your access points and controller or reset them to their factory default settings. You'll notice that you have an option to set an access point as a preferred master controller. 
Your choice here is taken into consideration during the election of the active controller. You can also choose to configure a standby controller here. You can easily access controller information from the menu. Click to find options to the controller or reset it to the factory default settings. You've seen how you can use the simple and efficient graphical interface of the Cisco Catalyst Wi-Fi mobile app. You can also see how your embedded wireless controller allows you to provision, manage, and monitor networks easily.